Now let us move on to the first exercise. The first problem is using appropriate properties find minus 2 by 3 times 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 times 1 by 6. Now let us write down the given problem. It is minus 2 by 3 times 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 times 1 by 6. We observe that the given problem contains three terms. This is the first term, second term and the third term. We also observe that the first and the third term contain a common factor. According to the commutative property, two rational numbers can be added in any order. So we rearrange the terms to bring out the common factor. That is minus 2 by 3 times 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 times 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2. We observe here that 3 by 5 is a common factor. So we bring out 3 by 5 using the distributive law. 3 by 5 times minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2. Here, in order to add two rational numbers, we need to have a common denominator. That is, we need to find the least common multiple of 3 and 6. Therefore, the LCM of 3 and 6 is 3 1s is 3 and 3 2s 6. Therefore, the LCM is 3 times 2 that is 6. Therefore, we rewrite the expression with the common denominator which is 3 by 5 times and the common denominator is 6. 3 times 2 is 6 therefore minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 left over with minus 1 plus 5 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 5 times minus 4 minus 1 gives minus 5 as sum. Therefore, minus 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2. Here, we cancel out 5 which is a common factor. We know 3 goes in 6 2 times. And now we are left over with minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. Here, the two rational numbers have common denominator. Hence, we can directly add their numerators. Therefore, 5 minus 1 by 2 gives 4 by 2. We know 2 goes in for 2 times, therefore the final answer is 2.